Is Amazon, Google, or Apple, or all the above, are they monopolies that should be broken up? Well, I think that's I think that's a very sort of interesting answer by Tim Cook because it's really sort of a, a two-part test there. One, he can make the case uh, we're not a we're not a monopoly. Uh, you know, if you look at the i if you look at the iPhone market, you have Android. There's other they they have other they have their own sort of Google Play App Store. So uh, there's other options, but that's not the key thing. It's okay to be big and dominant under U.S. antitrust law. That's not the problem. The problem is if you are hurting economic welfare, consumer welfare through bad practices. That's the issue. And it's going to be very difficult uh, for, for opponents, people who want to break up Apple or Google to argue that these companies, which are offering free services that consumers obviously greatly value, are actually bad for consumers. That's really the hill uh, the antitrust activists have to be able to cross. You know, Larry, from an equity investor perspective, you know, all of us here right now are sadly are old enough to remember the Microsoft antitrust case, primarily over its operating system and its browser. The government brought the case in early 1998, and, and after all the decisions and appeals and rulings and everything else, it was 2002 before anything was done, and Microsoft had already been blown out of the water on its Internet Explorer browser dominance. Even if something were to occur, do investors need to be worried because this would be a long process? Well, clearly it would be a, a long par process, and I, I think it's almost an irrelevancy, Brian, from the, uh, from the investor standpoint. Uh, first of all, you, you go with what Jimmy said, which is that there, there has to be harm. And the second thing is, uh, is there a monopoly here? Uh, I think there could be a monopoly, and uh, as in the Standard Oil case in the uh, uh, last century, the monopoly could be in distribution. But uh, the remedy would be to uh, uh, take the distribution uh, away from the, uh, the, the production. In case of uh, Apple, you would take the, uh, the services businesses, and particularly the app store, and put them in a separate company if you found 10 years from now that they were guilty of, of, of monopoly. And I think if that were happening, if you applied today's rules in the market, uh, the App Store would be uh, uh, selling at a much, much higher valuation than uh, the uh, integrated Apple does uh, right now. I think uh, with what's going on in that service business and the margin structure, I would probably be willing to pay 20 times running rate EBITD for it. And uh, the same thing goes with the, uh, the Google aspects. And uh, in, uh, in Amazon's case, uh, if you were to uh, uh, break up the, uh, the retail part, from the cloud, there might be some ramifications because the cloud has funded very competitive price behaviors from the, uh, the, the retail segment. Uh, but uh, overall, I think you're looking at a very, very long time period before yeah. anything bad happens. And if it does, probably Wall Street will look, as they did uh, in, uh, in past cases, and say, hey, the parts are worth more than the whole. Uh, we, we do uh, uh, analysis. I've probably been doing some of the parts analysis for... Uh, 30 years, and uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, uh, takeout take premiums are higher than uh, the, the current premiums, because somebody sees a hidden asset in these companies that uh, has enormous value. And these companies, the technology companies, uh, what is not really appreciated is the distribution power and the returns that that distribution power gives the, uh, gives the companies. And yeah. this does not produce harm for the consumer. So I, I, I think it's just a, a beltway issue. Uh, the public doesn't want this. The users uh, are, are continuing well, I, to use. And certainly the advertisers are still there. They're growing six times faster than the ad market. Uh, Jimmy, with the, with the exception, I guess, of all the election stuff around Facebook, I don't hear the consumer complaining. Do you? No, uh, they're not. I mean, to a great degree, this, this is sort of an, uh, an activist issue. Uh, but politicians are taking it seriously. Listen, uh, the complaints generally on the left and the right have been differently. But you saw Kevin McCarthy, someone who has, I think, previously been seen as very pro Silicon Valley. Now he's talking about it. You have Republicans now not just talking about the bias issue; they're also talking about the privacy privacy issue. So, so you say, so you have the antitrust issue. Then you also have Washington wanting to regulate the companies. And if they see that the antitrust issue is taking forever, it might make Congress more willing to try to take action, do what it can on the regulatory side. 
uh, to try to tamp down these companies, whether it's on the privacy issue, whether it's on content moderation or something else. I feel like, Jimmy, we're playing a little bit of regulatory roulette because you've got all these DOJ, FTC. Everyone seems in D.C. where you are right now to be tripping over themselves to show that they're not just sitting there. They're doing something. But do you think it will end up in anything? Listen, do, listen, do I think that Congress might, that one, something might have happened with antitrust? Well, the odds of them, the odds of them breaking up for the biggest companies, you know, in the world, I think, are unlikely. They might, there might be fines or, 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 or they might have to change their behavior, their business practices in some way. Do I think Congress might pass some sort of privacy rule? Sure. But look at the GDPR in Europe. Uh, that is hardly killing Facebook and Google, uh, who have actually increased yep. their market share of that ad market. So just because Congress doesn't do something, does something, doesn't mean it's going to kill these companies. Not a lot of time left, Larry, so quick answer. But, but are you, as a fund manager, selling Apple, Amazon, Facebook, or Google because of these headlines? Oh, no, no. Quite the, uh, quite the contrary. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, th this is a, it's a beltway issue. Uh, the, the reason that I would sell these stocks, Brian, is that if I were worried that interest rates were going up. And uh, I think Chairman Powell took that one uh, off the table uh, early this week. So uh, I think it's really blue skies ahead for these, uh, for these companies. Uh, uh, they have we're wonderful Elizabeth businesses. Warren they mad provide right now. tremendous <laughs> consumer services. You, what'd you say, Jimmy? I said we're making Elizabeth Warren mad right now by saying there's nothing Washington can do. I think they're going to try to do something.